Okay guys, welcome to another Main Meister 10 minute mashup. Um, before I start guys, um, as you probably see for the intro, I am now part of the fantastic Retro Unlum community. Um, I was very honoured to be asked by uh, the runner of, of this uh, community, Stephen, to join. Um, now I do know I've been following obviously quite a few guys that are on this. Um, it's, it's based a collection of sort of retro gaming uh, like minded people. Uh, on YouTube, so when I was asked if I wanted to get involved with this project um, or this community, I was, you know, I'm like, sign me up right now. So uh, anyway, yep, nothing else is going to change, guys. You're still going to get the same push from myself, um, but it's just going to be promoted on the Retro and Lum site, and it's also a great source for other fantastic YouTubers, so please do check them out. Anyway, this game is Racing Destruction Set on the Commodore 64. It was released in 1985 I think it was by Electronic Arts I think it originally came out from Areola Soft um, in the States and it was released um, through I think it, it was it US Gold in fact no it was released through Electronic Arts in the UK um, now I'm actually, I actually recorded the, uh, the sort of dialogue for this game as I was playing it but for whatever reason the bloody microphone didn't pick up anything which may actually be preferable to me talking pish but anyway so I'm actually now just talking over the video of me playing the game now I'm playing this under emulation which you may or may not be able to tell um, because the fact I'm recording this on a microphone usually you get me pointing the camera at a screen and recording it um, but unfortunately with emulation it can be a bit of a pain in the arse when it comes to multiple discs so it was asking me for uh, to swap to disc number two, which you'll see later on, and it wasn't working. So yeah, anyway, just bear with me as we wait for the video to catch up. Obviously, it was loading at the moment, hence the blue screen. Here we go, computer vehicle testing jumps. I don't think so, you cheating bastard. You can bloody play the game like me and do it from the off instead of getting the prior practice. So I obviously hit F3 to stop the test. Well, I did hit F3 once I'd figured out how to do it, and here we go. Now, I am the red car. Now, before you start laughing and falling off your seat, um, yes, it does look shite, but believe you me, guys, this game is of epic proportions. Um, I says it looks awful. It looks like uh, a Skeletrix game with shit graphics, and you've got to see past the graphics. Um, I bought this game on disc at the time, and I played it and played it and played it. You can see there this brown uh, hatched kind of track. That's like is it mud or that is that just standard kind of track? I think it is. You've got the lighter coloured brown, which I think is mud. You have got the white part of the track, which is ice. Now, obviously, your car sort of uh, handles differently depending on sort of what the actual road surface is. It's quite a simple game now, it, oh, it uses one of my pet hates in driving games which anybody who follows uh, my videos will know and that is pressing forward to move forward. Um, I never understand why they can't use the bloody fire button, after all that's what it's there for is it not? But this game isn't too bad, uh, it's obviously not a 3D game so you're not really, you know, cornering and that isn't quite so important um, in this game. It kind of plays like the car is it's kind of like Skeletrix type thing, the car does automatically go in the direction that you push and it will go around corners. You can obviously steer, you've got a limited sort of steering ability, you can move the car from left to right and you know, it'll take up the position in the road. Now as you can see there, there's, there's various kind of jumps and bumps and things. If you go over them too fast, the car will flip over and obviously waste time. So the idea of this game is to try and gauge your speed etc, it's basically trying to get the, the, the proper payoff. Do you go flat out and flip over, um, or else do you go slow over a jump so you don't flip over, it's trying to make that kind of judgement how you're going to play it. Like I said, it looks awful graphics, but once you see beyond the graphics and actually start playing it, it becomes highly addictive. Especially when you, you can ramp the number of laps up, I mean this is set to 2 laps I think it is. When you put up on the bigger, uh, bigger uh, laps and you, you increase the sort of computer ability, it gets really, really competitive. I mean, you can play it in two players as well. Um, what you can also do is you can change tracks, you can change vehicles, you've got cars, you've got trucks, you've got bloody motorbikes. 
Um, there's various other ones. It almost feels a wee bit like the fantastic Amiga game which was um, named after a toilet habit, Skid Marks. Yep. Um, I'm going to do a ma separate mashup on Skid Marks. That's another utterly fantastic game which I'll not talk about too much in this one because we're talking about Racing Destruction Set. Now I see we'll be kicking his arse at the moment. Oops. And I see that and I just pile into the little uh, indent in the side of the road there. But yeah, it says this <laughs> this is very much a gameplay over graphics and sound. Um, the sound's pretty awful. The graphics are uh, basic to say the least. Now, I'm sure, I am sure uh, Zap rated this Zap magazine to review this and I'm sure it got, they gave it a good good review and that was why I bought it because pretty much to any Commodore 64 back in the day the Zap magazine was the bible. If they said it was shite you avoided it like the plague. If they said it was great you went and robbed your mum's purse and went up and bought it. Now you'll see here in a wee second I did attempt to change the uh, the sort of cars etc and I can run into a few problems. So there we go, red wins, you want to race again? I thought, nope, let's go for something different. And obviously being an emulator, there's a lot of black screens going on. So this was looking for the second disc. So here we go. I think I, I went down to try and change the vehicle. Well, come on, Alan, do what you said you did. I'm sure I went down and tried to change the vehicle. There we go. I'm catching up at last. Choose red, customize red vehicle. Yep, go for that. And this is where the problems start. It tells you insert disk 2. And even though it asked me insert disk 2 earlier on, it says disk error. Insert correct disk. It just wasn't playing ball at all. So what I did was I paused the video and went away and I then spent 20 fruitless minutes trying to get the bloody emulator to uh, pick up the second disc and I gave up and I think this is me back again with tail firmly between my legs. And this was obviously my brain ticking, what am I going to do now to keep uh, keep my viewers entertained? So what I thought is I would do is just let you see Oh, right, is it going to start? Yeah, I think it is. See, it's asking for this two there, and I think it works. So why couldn't it work when it was looking for the cars? I don't know. Dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Here we go, and the cheating bastard's trying to taste the jumps again when I can't, so you can piss off right now, Mr. Computer. You're not getting prior practice if I can't. And here we go, folks, back again for some more slot racing over mud and tracks shenanigans. I'm right away, I managed to cut up the yellow player, giving me an instant lead. Now this is actually quite interesting because I can now talk, I mean, I now know the result of this race. I start getting very arrogant and big-headed at this point, thinking it's in the bag. And yet, it looks very much like it is in the bag. I'm streets ahead of him, and getting cocky by the minute with him. I was even taking these jump slopes, I thought, I've um, got this massive lead, no point in taking any chances. Ha! Just wait and see what happens. So I'm miles and miles in, lead, in the lead, I've got one lap to go, nothing can go wrong, surely. So he's about half a lap behind, or quarter lap behind crash at that point, get going again, he's just behind me, 
And lo and behold, he appears out of nowhere. <laughs> what does he do? He only bloody takes a lead. But fortunately, his uh, keenness to get in front is his undoing, and con uh, conversely, I take the lead and streak to victory. Hurrah! Consider your ass from the kick, Mr. Yellow Computer Player. Anyway, chaps, that is it. That is Racing Destruction Set. Like I says, please uh, don't pay too much attention to the graphics or the sound. It looks shite, but believe you me, it's a bloody class act. It really is a great game. Um, I said I bought it on disc back in the day and I spent many hours, there's loads of things you can do, you can change the tracks, I think you can even customise tracks, which that was something I never actually did. Um, so anyway, listen, we are coming up to the end of the video, as usual guys, I hope you enjoyed watching, and uh, if you like, like it, please like the video, if you want to subscribe, fantastic, and as usual guys, thanks for watching.